recording was pressed on vinyl. Nowadays, we may think that vinyl seems like a thing in the past, but it is, however, still a massive part of many people's lives. Vinyl has traditionally always been the DJ's choice of weapon, and seen as a more appealing purchase to many. With vinyl production plants closing down and the availability of MP3 downloads, is it putting vinyl's existence at risk? We must wonder why such an old-fashioned form of music still exists and why it's still being produced. I think for connoisseurs or serious listeners of music, um, I think that there are a lot of really good reasons for buying vinyl. Um, and I think first and foremost, um, I, think, I think the best reason is, is uh, the difference in sound quality between vinyl and the digital formats that, that, that we all are used to these days. But with regards to, um, with regards to records, the vinyl records, um, there is a depth of sound quality on a decent, well set up turntable and, and a decent sound system um, that, that in my opinion exceeds um, the, um, the sound quality of a CD. But a lot of these things are very subjective, and I think to, to you know to the to the layman or the everyday person, I think that I think that you know you've got you've got people out there that they just want to listen to music. <laughs> End of story. They like music. Um, they want to put it on a portable format that's carryable. If you want to break it down to straight sound quality, um, I'm still on the vinyl side of the fence. Um, things like scratches and pops and clicks come down to how well you look after your records, really. Um, so there's more care and more attention to detail that one has to have with, um, uh, with looking after looking after a vinyl LP, um, and 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 it does kind of rely on a well-maintained and set-up turntable. And I think that if if more people um, sort of did some comparative listening between, you know, the same album on 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 vinyl, on a turntable, and and the CD. I think that people with some with with an oral awareness or ability to really hear um, will notice the difference. Leave the MP3 formats to. Uh, to the joggers in the park and uh, people who want to shut everyone else out while they're on the on the bus. But uh, I think that's mainly what it's good for. <laughs> if you venture into any town or city nowadays, ensuring you stay clear of the hoodies and terrorists, you will find dozens of fabulous music stores selling these extraordinary vinyl records. One of Nottingham's most popular and prestigious music stores, Selectedis, has been supplying vinyl addiction since 1966. We hear from them about these records and the fascinating creatures that go by the name of vinyl shoppers. People still buy vinyl because uh, there's still a lot of collectors around, you know, buying uh, who, who need to have like their fix, you know, sort of. Uh, Keep their collections up as it were, you know, and keep it in one format rather than having lots of different formats. Which, you know, you're, you're always going to get collectors. I mean, a lot of people still buy vinyl because of, uh, it's basically, especially with the drum bass scene, it's the only way you can actually buy the tracks. You can only buy them on vinyl, you can't download them, you can't get them on CD, you know, it's just, uh, it's the only way you can get it, really. Yeah. I think people need a physical, uh, well, a lot of people need a physical thing, you know, that, you know, years ago you could sort of hear a record on the on the radio and go out and buy it, but you don't need to do that anymore, you can download it, so it kind of sorts out the, 
the people who actually like collecting music to people who just like you just want to play bubblegum for your ears, you know what I mean? It's just like it's uh, I mean it's, it's it's just a lot different. I mean things change all the time anyway, like you know, technology changes all the time just like certain people will use it in different ways, you know, people who download music for their iPods, you know, aren't like music but they aren't really music fans, they aren't collectors, you know. It's not as big as it was, but you know, it's still quite a demand, like I said before, with the certain scenes you just can't buy tracks on 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 any other format apart from bands. So like with the drum and bass scene, you know, you get like a queue of people up here on a on a Thursday morning waiting for the promos to come in. Most of the people who do collect music do actually want the physical thing, you know, they they did they I mean it's, it's very disposable when you've got, it's just like an MP3 on, a, on an iPod. And people do, a lot of people, even though they like, they will download the track and to find it on a blog or something, they will actually want the, the, the real thing when it comes out, you know. So it's just sort of like the people who, who hear a record on the, on, the, on the radio, who, like many years ago, they just gone out and bought it and then chucked it in the loft six months down the line, you know. It's, it's really just, sorted out the wheat from the chaff, as it were, and it's just like condensed it to people who actually do want to buy music, you know, people who collect music, people who are fans of like, you know, records, you know, having the physical form. So, who exactly are buying these records? We hit the streets to find out who still buys vinyl and why they do it. I like lo vinyl because I like going vinyl shopping, the whole experience of going to the shop, picking out new tunes, having a chat with the bloke about what's new, what's new out, what's coming out in the future, and like, the whole culture behind it, the artwork. The best thing is probably when you can dig and you can find something that you're never going to think you're going to come across. So, well, compared to CDs, I suppose, you're not going to really find that. When you're looking for stuff, you can suddenly find a beat that you never thought you'd find. And I think that's what keeps vinyl fresh. I collected vinyl ever since I was 13. Basically, I just, I don't know, I couldn't see it any other way. I like, um, I don't know, I wake up on a Monday morning and I'm straight down to select this for the new promos. Like, it's, it, it's just the artwork you get with it, the collector. I've got shelves full of it at home. Like, like I, couldn't, I couldn't have it any other way. I couldn't, couldn't have all these CDs, all these MP3s and iPods, these iPod DJs. I'm just not like that. Vinyl's beautiful. Vinyl's like an old classic car. Compare it to a CD. What's a CD? It's a bit of plastic. Vinyl, vinyl was there from the start and it just always will be. Yeah, um, I love vinyl because of the collectability. Um, also, it just sounds a lot better than the old CD versions. Well, one of the things that you, you probably wouldn't expect is the album cover and the artwork. Like, I'll pick up something just because of the artwork and then I'll try it out. And it might be fair, it might be shit, you never know. But at the same time, like, CDs isn't really the same, you don't get the same size. So, yeah, probably that. And along, like I said earlier, with just mixing it up, seeing what happens, you never know what you're going to get when you pick up a vinyl. I mean, the bass on it is just so deep and warm, and the tune just sounds a lot better than on CD. Every different ridge is a different noise. I just, I just love that about vinyl, you can't see that on CDs. With vinyl, I mean, it's just so different, like, the sound quality, the sound is just so much better. I mean, you get a CD and it's all compressed on it, whereas the beat, the, the, the beat on vinyl is just, it's just amazing. It's much like warmer sound, the sound quality is generally better than like digital formats, and it's just a more versatile piece of music. Also, when the fact that um, you purchase a new vinyl, it's, it just brings out a warm feeling to you, and also the artwork on the vinyls as well, it's, it's just heavy. Buying a release on 12 inch has a lot more to it than just the slab of music. Package in the artwork also gives vinyl many admirers. I just think there's something so much more appealing and attractive about vinyl than CDs and MP3s. Like, it's one thing getting a track at the click of a button, but um, or getting a cheap plastic CD in a plastic case. But with the vinyl, the artwork and the size of it and the quality, it's just all part of the package. And um, so much just goes into designing the artwork on the vinyl. Like, so many artists have been made famous just through their design work and they're, they're collectible and it gives, tells you something about the music at the time of when it was made and just gives you a feel about the artists and tells you so much about them which you just don't get with MP3s or CDs. Um, and there's something you want to treasure and look after and something physical you can look after and feel 
and uh, you know you don't take care of, the, of your CDs or your MP3s so like this Beatles Lonely Hearts one for example it's just a piece of art in itself and probably worth God knows how much and it's got cutouts um, bits to collect I mean this album cover is so famous that it, you just remember the album for the cover as well it goes hand in hand with the art and you know without the cover it just wouldn't be the same and this Soul Signs one, for example, you just learn so much about the artist which you just don't get with CDs and it's just like a little package in itself and, you know, so much would be lost if vinyl became obsolete. Just all the artwork, all the information, it's just not the same having a file on your computer as having this which you can treasure and keep, you know, they will become collectibles because people throw them on their wall and it is just a piece of art in itself.